Okay, so uh, I, I belong, actually belong to several uh, antique, cast iron antique toy clubs. And I have uh, several friends uh, across the United States um, that we buy, sell, trade with each other. Um, that's just a brief history uh, along with my 20 something years of collecting. Okay, but uh, quickly though, here, here are two more. This one right here is a uh, authentic and uh, considered to be in mint condition. Made by, uh, I forget, um, Kaiser Rex, I believe it is. Um, England. This one right here is made by, this is a USA. Um, commonly you see these all over the place. This is a USA reproduction. This is a reproduction of this one. And it, it, it's a well-made reproduction. Okay, it's it's uh, called the Book of Knowledge. They, they make, uh, have made several pieces. It does say made in the USA. Um, and it does say reproduction. Um, so what this means is that I have a few of the reproduction pieces and I give them away to my kids, family members, uh, birthday, Christmas, whatever it may be, special occasion. Okay, the, um, typically the reproductions, you know, they do have uh, somewhat of a value. It's in the $50, $60 range, $50 to $60 range. The original is going to be uh, in the three, four, five, six hundred dollar range. Uh, okay, I was just on Facebook Marketplace a couple weeks ago. Uh, I couldn't quite tell if it was a male or female, but was asking if anybody had knowledge. Uh, they come small. These pieces come in uh, the figurines and such come in small, medium, large, and extra large sizes. Uh, right away, and it was a Hubley, a Hubley motorcycle, and um, so I, a guy fired off, it was a guy, he fired off before I did, I just happened to be on the computer, and I got the pop-up, and so uh, this other guy apparently got the pop-up too. Okay, he said, uh, we'll use the word again, Asian reproduction. And then I basically fired off the same uh, thing, and the person got kind of angry uh, to the fact that, first off, he said in his uh, reading that, well, he called it off as a flea, he found it in a flea market, okay? To me, flea market, I grew up down south, whenever f flea market is used, that is an outdoor huge garage sale. Now that's what they call uh, flea markets down south. So he he or she went on to say that uh, once a month he finds one of these pieces at the flea market for ten bucks, ten dollars, and then he rolls it over and sells it to a person. Uh, he 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 or she said this several times that he or she's getting into this business and he, he or she rolled, rolls over these pieces anywhere from $130, $140, $150 on a $10 buy at the flea market. Uh, you know, the hair on the back of my neck stood up, okay? Um, what we have here, what I did bring, uh, so we, we went back and forth and then next thing I know, uh, 12 or 13 members of this uh, antique collectible club jumped in and uh, everybody was jumping on this person. Uh, okay. Um, and to take it a step further, I quickly, you can go to the Google. The Google search is a great reference or even the YouTube. And Google up, for example, in this case, Hubbly Motorcycle. Those seems to be the popular uh, for the copycat reproduction people 
is the Hubley motorcycle. And um, so 12 or 13 people jumped in and I, I just decided to jump out, but sit and read what everybody else was uh, telling this person. And it was all true, uh, okay? The Hubley motorcycle, they come in various colors, typically green, red, black, but they all come with either black rubber tires um, or white rubber tires, the Hubley motorcycles. The tiny ones will come with steel wheels. However, it's like I said, super smooth casting and the tiny ones will say either, typically it's just Hubley. Okay, if they could fit it, if they could have fit it in there, I've seen them say Hubley USA, or if it's big enough, it'll say Hubley made in the USA. Every one of these companies did that for a reason. Okay, the next piece that I want to point out is this outstanding carpenter train, which was made in 1880. And I was lucky enough, uh, a few years ago, it was up for auction from this person. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Rick is in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. You can find his book. Uh, he is the foremost uh, expert on cast iron floor trains. Okay. So, uh, you can find these, I got four of them here that cover everything that I wanted to uh, point out that you can find each and every one of these books either on Amazon, eBay, or simply in a uh, book, used bookstore. That's where I found this one, in St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> used bookstore. Um, Typically, there's only one. This one, I just happened to come see it on the Google search. And this is exactly what I was looking for. But it turns out I had to call down before before I went down to make sure that it was still available. And it was. And I rushed down there and picked it up for, I think it was, 25 bucks. Used. Rick's book, on the other hand, brand new, hard copy is gonna be in the $130 range. You can find them used in the $30 to $40 range. Okay. Uh, the, uh, his is still in print. This one is not in print anymore, Penny Lane. They're still available though. This one is still in print and it covers all, all, all your cars. This one covers your uh, mechanical banks. And this these are mechanicals, okay, to where they have a moving part. You put a coin in the hand, and uh, that's that. This book is a John Olszewski. He's in California. He is currently making a second edition uh, which will be out, I'm told. Uh, it's coming coming along just fine. The second edition will cover the rest of uh, horse and buggy, I, I call them, toys, which are super popular. Early 2023, uh, the second edition. Uh, I don't, I can't quite remember, but I don't think uh, uh, John sells uh, the, could, you could find one of these as used on Amazon or eBay or even the Google search, okay? But uh, I actually uh, picked this up from him directly and how to find him and contact him. He sells them out of his, his home and he mails them to you uh, is how he does his thing that, to where he doesn't have to pay any fees, uh, Amazon or uh, eBay fees. Uh, he's not on the... Facebook Marketplace, okay, but if you do a Google search on John Osefsky, he should come up. These four books cover everything. Uh, and, 
any, like I said, I'll say it again, anywhere from 30, 50, brand new. This Osapsky book cost me, I think it was 95 bucks. This one was brand new. I think I got this one from, uh, there's uh, several antique uh, used uh, tin toys, antique toy bookstores. Uh, I think this was Abe Books. Uh, this one, as I said, was St. Paul. Uh, actually, it was Minneapolis. That's what it was. Minneapolis used books. And this one I bought. Um, it was Amazon. Uh, Rick is on Amazon. I bought that from Amazon for Rick. This train. It's a special train. Okay, last, yesterday afternoon, coincidentally, today is uh, July 10th, 2022. <laughs> I'll pull it up real quick. That exact train, there's only, to my knowledge, and Rick Ralston's knowledge, uh, were the only two that are known. Uh, there could be one or two or three more in super private collector's display. Okay, but to Rick's knowledge, my research is that there was only two. And uh, this one just so happened to sell um, yesterday. The exact for a whopping, uh, whatever it says, $3,172 <laughs> by the, now I did know when I bought this one, that it was uh, Rick's description. His name is um, Ron Warwick. Uh, he's an older guy, 78. Yeah, Ron Warwick of Grafton, Massachusetts uh, was the only other person that had a copy of this train. And it sold yesterday for over 3,100 bucks. Um, so, why is it so rare? If you look at the size of this piece, I, what I believe is that this was a uh, beta. Companies have been doing uh, this kind of thing. They'll make 100 of them, 50 of them, whatever it may be. And uh, put a special price on it and see how it does. Uh, test uh, test market they call it also um, th there's there's no other answer for it uh, okay this is the uh, I do know this about it is that the locomotive and tender were the only pieces that they made they did not make any coaches or cabooses to go with this piece so what myself and my cast iron toy buddies have figured out decided is that the train was too big, <laughs> too heavy, and that is a fact. And it didn't do too well um, because of this. Uh, okay, uh, the special price, uh, you know, I don't how many were sold. No, it seems to be a mystery. Um, but it's an 1880 Carpenter. Carpenter, by the way, um, I can't remember his first name, uh, invented the, uh, or come up with the molds to, uh, he's the first person to make cast iron trains. And then of course, just like anything else, people started copying. I'm a big train fan. I got a huge amount of trains at home. Um, what I want to do though, Carpenter, he's in the first few pages of this book. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave this piece and I, uh, for a limited time, um, for those of you that want to come down and see my display, and uh, I'm not saying buy something, but if you want to see a collection that you're not going to see probably 
a uh, beginner is probably not going to see in his lifetime all in one spot. Come down to Larry's Jug and get with uh, uh, Larry or Junior. And uh, they will let you in to handle uh, my pieces and ask questions. Uh, you know, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned there's a whole lot of people that stop and take a look, is what I'm told, at my uh, uh, my case. Okay, but I'm also told nobody seems to understand what they're looking at. And prices, I get that. Okay. These pieces were made from right about 1880 through 1940-ish. Okay, that just so happens to be the uh, World War II, also known as the German War. What happened there was that all of these, that's, that's the time frame. Hubley um, and Arcade are the only two that survived that German War. What I, what I mean by that is the uh, federal government uh, forced uh, I think it's the War Act is what they call it. They just did it with the coronavirus. Anybody who had anything to do with manufacturing materials were told by the federal government to make uh, corona mask, COVID-19, N95 mask. They shut down, uh, they forced, um, uh, what's the name of that company? Uh, 3M. They forced 3M, the, the president visited and vice president visited 3M during the onslaught, the beginning of this COVID-19 issue, we'll call it. Just, uh, just kind of a, a show of, you need to do this. And, uh, and 3M produced and they did that. Okay, so back to the German war. That's exactly what happened here. Anybody who had anything to do with metal, whether it be brass, lead, copper, steel, aluminum, all of it. They were told to shut down their manufacturing process and start making bullets, gun cases, or uh, bomb shell casings, bullet casings, that kind of thing. Um, and then, uh, you know, on top of that, uh, just like any other war, the economy went to south. Okay, so all of these companies did not survive that uh, issue, except for Arcade and Hubley. They only made it to about the early 50s. So the time frame on these pieces are um, about 1880 through about 1940-ish. Okay, so whatever that figures out to be is, is how old these pieces are. I'm going to leave this big uh, carpenter train. It's special. Um, I will put a tag on it. I would be willing to let it go. I'll put a best offer. I'm not going to put a price on it. I'll put a best offer on it. Uh, Junior knows my phone number. If you're interested, call me and you make me an offer on it. We'll talk about it. This piece here. Like I said, I do have a few reproductions. I'm known for giving them away. Uh, if anybody wants to make a purchase out of my case, it doesn't matter what it is, big, small, medium, whatever. I'm gonna put a tag on it that you can have this piece for free. So if you make one purchase, uh, first come, first serve, today's date is July 10th, 2022. Now, if you get down here and it's gone, that's, it is what it is. Uh, okay, but I'll put a tag on it. You buy a piece out of my case, you can have this. The value, I don't know, 60 bucks. But you know what? It's a giveaway to, uh, or maybe you being uh, uh, the person out there, maybe you do like reproductions. I, you know, I mean, everybody's got their own spin on life. <laughs> okay, but it's a great gift for, to spark interest and, in, uh, a young child, 12, 13, 14 years old. Okay, the ones that I have given away to my uh, kids and grandkids, they just love them. They especially love the um, mechanicals. 
this one will be going to one of the kids soon. And, you know, I'm not concerned that if it gets destroyed, but the look in their eyes when they get this, it's not going to get destroyed. This is one of these things. Well, it's pretty heavy duty anyways, okay? But it may break a toe, drop down their toe, um, you know, or, um, you know, thrown at somebody and knock somebody out. They're not, they're not light. But uh, the... Um, this one, anybody out there is interested, and it's a freebie value, 60 bucks maybe. Um, I think we got it covered.